this section, we're going to talk about model files and how we can use them in Ruby. Before we can really get into how we can use them, we first need to understand what they are and what their purpose is. So really what the purpose of the model files are is to be the logic and really the backbone of the entire application. In a well-formed Ruby project, you should be able to find all your algorithms, all your uh, custom work, things like uh, any complex background task calls, anything like that should all reside inside of your model files. And the purpose for that is one, code organization, but two, this is really the closest you're getting to writing real pure Ruby code inside of uh, inside of the application. So uh, this is where you should be able to see the code, read it, understand it right away because uh, you're really talking about putting direct Ruby code into the application and worrying less about some of the Rails conventions and worrying more just about the overall logic of the program. So some of the things that you should put inside these model files are things like custom scopes and these are scopes that will get called from the controller so instead of putting all of your database query uh, information inside the controller you can put them inside the model in what they call scopes uh, you can add defaults so when a new file is created or a, a new database records created uh, you can have certain records have default values and you can do that through SQL as well but I personally like doing it through the model because it's a little bit of a closer connection to the code and less to the SQL uh, another thing you can do you can uh, integrate validations so you can put your form validations inside the model files and control them all from there. Uh, you can integrate callbacks, and we'll get in. We'll get into each one of these. Uh, callback is when a record's created or record's destroyed. You can have other actions and workflows that start when those uh, when those items occur. And uh, last thing we're going to talk about is integrating database relationships. So if you're coming from other programming languages like PHP, you may have set up your uh, database relationships using PHP MyAdmin or something like that. In Rails, you can actually establish all of those relationships right here in the model file. And, and we'll get into how to do all of that uh, very easily and uh, uh, show you the right way to put it inside of the model file and how to control it and how to have model files that communicate with each other. So we'll go through each one of these in the upcoming videos.